Does that red box come with it? Uh, yeah. You got to make sure they know you got your papers. Mm -hmm. These ain't the fake ones, baby. <laughs> <laughs> These the real deals with the booklets. <laughs> Hoppin' this Roddy Rich, this GQ 10 Essentials. <laughs> Definitely the Jordan Retro ones, like one of my favorite sneakers. But I mean, this was just one of the plenty retro ones that I have in my collection. But you can kind of wear them with anything. Jeans, sweats. It's, a, it's an everyday sneaker. I, I always got a pair of ones with me, so the red and white was just what I had in the trunk. So I had to pop out with them. I can't really remember my first pair of ones. I just know growing up, that was like one of my favorite sneakers. I know my first pair of Jordans period was the 11s, the breads. I had a pair of, um, yeah, retro 11s. But I don't know, when I got older, the ones just became my favorite. This is Creed Aventus. Everybody who meets me asks me what I wear. This is me revealing what I wear. So if you want your boyfriend to smell like me, go get some Creed for Christmas. I started wearing Creed Recently, probably about two years ago, smelling like it ever since. It smells like a doctor or like a lawyer. It's like a, it's like a, it's not a, a specific smell. You could say it's just like, a, like when you're around somebody and you smell them, they smell like, like money, like a, like when I smell doctors, I, this is what I think they smell like. Right it's yeah. not expensive. Yeah, very expensive. This is my Eliante prone setting Cuban right here. The diamonds pop out of the Cuban. It's not just a regular diamonds in the Cuban. It's gold to push the diamonds out and make them pop out more. I don't wear it all the time, but it's definitely something I, I pop out with when I just want to have something simple but still shine at the same time. And this is my Protect Philippe. It's a very nice watch one of my first bust downs I ever bought standing still but it has diamonds in it it's simple less is more the chain is worth about um sixty thousand dollars and this watch is worth about a hundred thousand jewelry isn't a necessity but sometimes it it could bring out my fashion sometimes if I'm wearing very dark clothes like darker color black anything like that and I put white jewelry on top it look crazy because it's like the contrast of the diamonds and the dark clothes. So sometimes I just do it for fashion. I don't really do it to stunt. I don't got to stunt. Cartier shades. I have a couple different styles of Cartier. These were actually a gift from my good friend Slow. He gave me these Cartiers one night. We was at Julian's in New York. I complimented him on his glasses because I seen that they were Cartier and he gave me these Cartiers. I got more Louis Vuitton glasses than I do Cartier, but it, it, Louis, Louis Vuitton is like more, it's like a fashion, like glasses. Like you wear those when you're going out and cameras and stuff going around. But like, if you got Cartier, you could just wear those like any, like any, every day. And uh, you know, Cartier. This is the original Roddy Rich piece. This is the first chain I ever bought ever in my life. I got this like, right after I dropped Feed the Streets, the first mixtape. It's not like something I wear or nothing. It's just, it's just a chain I keep because it's like, it just remind me of the beginning. It's probably the only thing that has stood with my name with me. The more I reach success and the more I go up in life, I feel like this chain is, it holds more value. Every time I look at this chain, it's, it reminds me of where I've been. The mind and mentality I had to get to where I'm at. So every day I look at this and, and keep that same, you know, drive and motivation. You know, it's just a process and you gotta trust your process. You know, it's new things going on every day. And you gotta just adapt to it, continue to be great. That's it. I always have water around me everywhere I go. This is Essentia. It's an overachieving H2O. Essentia is a water that I got more into drinking after going to the studio a lot. I had different waters I tried, you know, different waters. I just like Essentia the most. It's Essentia. It's essential. Gotta always drink your water. These are small pineapple chunks. They're not full because I was eating them. And my mom had me eat these when I was younger, so I just like them a lot. They like my favorite fruit. I kind of try to drink uh, drink a lot of water, eat more fruit and stuff like that. Even though it's, it's a lot of acid in these, it's not really good to overeat them, but it's a good fruit. I like them. 
pineapple is definitely one of my essential fruits every day. My next everyday essential, I couldn't bring it in. It's a Hellcat. I just recently got the new 2020 Hellcat with the wide body kit. That's my everyday car. It's a car that they might see every day, but they get up like a Rari or like, you know, so it's like a cool car to just have all the time. Black tint all around so nobody can see him. 717 horsepower, 200 on the dash. It was a car that I started with, so I just always wanted to keep one. And this year just so happened to be a good year, 2020. I don't like going too big. I like to just keep it modest and pull out the cars when it's time, you know. Watch out for the Hellcat every day. Birch Bees, Vanilla Bean, Chapstick. A lot of different chapsticks. I don't really like them because of how they taste. I don't know how they make your lips feel after, but Birch Bees, they keep my lips like cool. Since it's Vanilla Bean, it like tastes like, it's like a sweet, it's cool. It ain't like no weird, nothing going on. So I like this chapstick. I'm gonna just say, I'm not gonna go too in detail what I do with these, but I feel like Raw Cones, the king size, is a brand that I could trust. It is um, a healthier choice. What does that mean? It's a healthier choice. It's a lighter, big, it's blue. This is one of the essentials just to have a lighter on me, you know. You never know what you might have to use. I like my lighters to be blue and small, like fit in the pocket. They ain't always blue, I'm not gonna lie on camera, they're not always blue, but they're always small like this because I, I lose a lot of lighters, so I just try to keep it in my pocket as much as I can. So if I if I got a, like a big lighter, I won't put it back in my pocket. I like put it on the table or something. But if it's small, I could just slide it back back in my pocket. So I've been keeping up with this one for like four days. So <laughs> this is probably my longest train. <laughs> I lose lighters like every day, but it's just cool to have them when you lit. American Express. I've been a member since this year, so I'm proud. Had to put the tape on it because the scammers is real, you know? I'm ducking all the scammers. I used to hear Jay-Z talk about American Express a lot, so once I got my little card, I thought I was something. I feel like this is essential for me because everywhere I go, I might need to make a transaction, do what I gotta do, and it's getting to a point where I don't like to carry around that much money because it could be a liability. I just needed to turn up the limits on my cards. And American Express is, is one of the ones that got a, a big limit on it. So, gotta keep the American Express. What's good, GQ? I appreciate y'all for letting me share my essentials, my daily essentials. I need everybody to go listen to the album. Please excuse me for being antisocial out everywhere right now.